Hello everyone, Only the Repair Dude is here again. In this video, I'm going to show an alternate method to restore and reuse activation files on iOS 14.3 and beyond for Silver 5 Windows. There are reports on iOS 14.3 and beyond having issue restoring activation files which result in getting stuck on the activation log screen even after restoring activation files. Moreover, on iOS 14.5 and beyond, there are issues restoring activation files on Silver 5. This method is experimental, so this method may not work as I do not have device with such issue and I'm just sharing this method in attempt to help solve this issue. Let's get started. I have the activation files for this iPhone 7 which I back up on open menu to present my experimental method. The first step is to jailbreak the device with whichever bootable USB and even hacking dosh. I will be using my hacking dosh installation to jailbreak. Jailbreak your device. For me, I go to Finder, iPhone, click Trust. This step is important for Mac or Hacking DOS users before they do the jailbreak. Allow you to load and activate. You should go to Activation Lock. Close the Finder, go Options, allow untested iPad iPadOS, TVOS version. And skip A11 PPR check. Go back, jailbreak the device. Once done the jailbreak, you can set up the device first to put it on the activation lock screen. Once you put it on the activation shot screen, you can now return to Windows. Once on Windows, open your Silver 5 activation file backup. Make sure you have made a backup of your original activation files before proceeding. I'll be opening up my Silver 5 activation file backup. As you can see, this is my device activation files backup. I'll be opening up my notepad which contains the file names to be renamed. The folder for rename has fair play. The file number 3 rename has com.apple.com.center.device underscore specific underscore no backup dot plist. I'll be copy and paste the name because it's quite long to type in. Click rename, paste the name for number 3. Pow. Once I done renaming it, the next step is to open 3 tools. Click OK for this. Go to more. Open SSH Tunnel. Click OK. The next step is to go Win SCP. I can minimize two YouTubes. Go to SCP for the file protocol. Host name is localhost. Leave the port number as 22. Username mobile. Password is L5, A L P I N E. Click login. Click update. Then click the arrow with the folder repeatedly until you get these folders. Then go to private, bar, mobile, library. Then copy the Fair Play folder into this folder, the library folder. Not to any other folder, but the library's folder. Scroll down if necessary. Make sure Fair Play has been copied to the library's folder. I can maximize the library, I mean the 
win SCP to show you. Make sure the owner is mobile for fair play. Once you finish copy the fair play folder to the library folder, you can close win SCP. Click yes. Then open FRP file. I apologize that I'll be using FRP file for this tutorial as it support Windows for iOS 14.6 and beyond for this part of the tutorial. I do not condone the developer behavior of copy code without giving credit or plagiarism. I'll be now opening up the FRP file folder. Open FRP file AIO. If you get to register your serial number, Click here to register free and follow the instructions on the website. If you're done registering, click bypass hello screen. Once done and you get this message, click no, close FRP file and the folder. The next step is to go to win SCP again. Select SCP for the file protocol. Enter the host name is local host. The username is root. Then the password is L5. A L P I N E. Click login. Once you're logged in, press the folder with the arrow to go up to the top of the directory. I will now do maximize the window, go to private bar, wireless, library, preferences, delete com.apple.com.center.device underscore specific underscore no backup dot please delete that from your phone then copy the com dot apple dot com center dot device underscore specific underscore no backup dot please from your activation folder to the phone once you finish copy close win scp click yes to close it cannot save the workspace then restart the device And it stays on the springboard. Time for me to insert a SIM card to test. Insert my SIM. Let it search for a mobile signal. This will take some time. I got no service. Now I got a FaceTime and iMessage pop up, which means. The fair play had been saved correctly into the phone. Now time for me to make a test call. I'll up the volume. Turn on speaker and up the volume. All works correctly as you can hear. That means the basement ticket had been saved correctly. Time for me to go data. Turn the Wi-Fi and use data to test. Data works. Time for me to sign in the iCloud. I'll be doing this off camera. iCloud signing was successful. As you can see, my logo, my account, my name, iCloud, see, successful sign in. The next name is FaceTime. I just turn on FaceTime. It got this stuck. I'll be using the settings to turn on and off FaceTime till it will off camera. And look, FaceTime works correctly. Time for me to set up passcode and restart the device to see whether it works. I will now set a passcode and restart see whether it works. It seems it got stuck setting up passcode. I'll try to see whether passcode was set correctly. Passcode was set correctly. 
time for me to restart the device to see whether it works. Turn off the device. Turn on the device again. And boom, passcode still works without going back to the setup screen, as you can see. I really hope you find my tutorials useful and you find it enjoyable. Please like, share and comment on my video, subscribe to my channel and please do donate. The link to donate is in the description below and see you in the next video.